Your software dashboard is usually the central hub of all of your users' activity. It's a really great opportunity to use this screen to provide value and consistently demonstrate what's great about your software, because your users will see this screen every time they log in. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to design an engaging dashboard for CRM software. So what makes a great dashboard design? Well, generally, people are using software to get jobs done or to achieve a specific result. So if your dashboard can support that objective, then you're doing a good job. But there are things that are a given, you know, like having a great user experience, uh, providing a really nice interface, a nice aesthetic, and making sure that that dashboard is intuitive. But when I'm starting the design for a dashboard, I like to think of the three modes or states that users are generally in. Discovery, creation, and review. So in the discovery state, uh, users are generally, uh, they might be new to a product, so they're just logging in and they're finding out about the product, getting used to it, finding out what features there are, having a look around. Or they might be looking at um, new features, notifications and checking them out, you know, discovering what's new about the product. In the creation mode, they're actually performing tasks and getting jobs done. They're doing work. And then finally, in the review state, they're just looking at reporting. They're checking up uh, stats, metrics, and reporting on uh, observations on the work that's being done and activity within their account. So with that in mind, you want to design to satisfy each of these three states for your average user. Now, I recently designed a dashboard for all clients CRM, and we're going to use this project to review the process. Here's a look at the original dashboard that all clients had, and here's the redesign that we recently worked on. So how did I approach the redesign for this dashboard? Well, let's take a look at uh, how to get started. First of all, we wanna think about what it is that the user actually wants to see. Now, I consider the dashboard to be some kind of overview of the all of the account activity in your software. So if the dashboard can present that, it makes it easier each time your user logs in to just get a quick overview. Uh, at the same time, we want to present them with a hierarchy of information. So. Pulling out the most important stats is quite important here. And in this case, I pulled out three stats to show along the top of the design uh, that could be considered the most important elements that a user wants to see when they log in. So the next thing we want to think about is what actions does your user actually want to perform? So when you're uh, considering your dashboard as an overview of your product, it should also present all of the features, or at least have reference to the key value features in your software. So you can see that we've used these widgets to represent uh, data for, for these features that you can use. And also each of the widgets has a kind of navigation or, or a begin your journey link to either go through to that feature where the user might be performing actions or completing tasks. Um, and also right here on the dashboard, we also show a multifunctional button. This is a uh, create action button. So uh, with this button, you have a drop down and you can create anything you need right from the dashboard, whether that's adding a contact, uh, scheduling a new appointment or any other action that you want to perform without an elongated user journey. They just can do that directly here from the dashboard. So it's also really important to think about who are the user profiles that are going to be using your software. For all clients CRM, it's designed to serve small to medium sized businesses. This could be anything from a pizza restaurant or takeaway to an independent business consultant or a small consultancy team. So um, the fact is that all clients CRM is a highly customizable software. So the way we approach this is that we design a default suggested dashboard layout that all new users will see when they log in um, and begin in their account. And we also offer them the ability to customize this dashboard with by adding whichever widgets that they need and that they want to see for their specific use case. 
And it, as a general principle, we know that around 15% of users uh, customize their dashboards. So we just make sure that this journey uh, is easy to do. And we've also provided a tab system for users of all clients to add new dashboards um, or additional dashboards and add extra widgets on there of whatever they, they want and need to see. So we think it's quite important to consider the use cases. And even in a company, you might have three to five different types of users and each of those might want to create a, a unique dashboard of their own as well. So uh, the next thing we want to do is just mainly consider about promoting activation. So activation is all about making sure that your users, uh, when they log in, they start getting used to using features and the adoption is there, right? The last thing you want to do is create features that don't really get used. So we also design some space on the dashboard for notifications um, and, and, and for updates. So we tell them about what's happening in the software, what's new, what new features have been launched. And this way it just, it just helps the engagement with these features. And it also reinforces the fact that the dashboard is the central hub for your software. So there we go, that's our process and that's how we recommend thinking about designing a great dashboard, particularly for a CRM. So in conclusion, um, what one of the things that we think makes the most impact in this process is really the thinking that goes into the uh, the design process. So this is the, this is the strategic uh, planning and thinking, the layout, uh, working on wireframes. This is what creates the foundation for for designing a great dashboard, and this is really where the most of the impact is made. If you get that right you'll be able to create a really great dashboard for your CRM. If you need help with UX or UI design, reach out to us at useractive.io.